You guys, the other day, I felt like giving up. I felt like quitting. I felt like stopping YouTube. I felt like quitting the workouts. I felt like I didn't need to go validate myself every morning through my habits. That's what I felt like. I was done with the shit, right? But it was two things that saved me, bro. Two things. Number one, I gotta give it all to God. Because he woke me up, said, here you go, another full day to get shit done. And what did I do? I used it. The second thing was, everyone that ever had something bad to say about me would have been correct if I would have gave up. And no bitch, I'm not quitting. And no bitch, there's more in me. And no bitch, I'm not gonna lay down and stay down. You understand where I'm coming from. So every time you feel like giving up, let me tell you something, big brother. They wanted you to give up. You understand that? Let me tell you something, little bro. They wanted you to give up. Do you understand that? Do not quit. Do not give up. Because that's exactly what they're waiting for. Now let me tell you something else. When God is knocking on your door, you let him in. You let him in. I took some notes for you guys today. I'm so locked in. I'm so ready. I'm so happy for this fucking video. Just listen, man. So look. First thing I wrote down, if you want to make a difference in your life, you must allow God to instruct you and teach you the ways you must go. See, you, we, we get caught up thinking that it's our own path and our own journey. And it's going to go at our own speed. No, nah, bro. It's going to go at God's speed on God's timing when he's ready for it to happen. But see, you got to learn the patience. You got to learn that in this moment, it is a test of patience. And, and a test of patience is when your character is truly being tested. Who are you when you're not getting your way? Who are you when you may have two or three months of work? Who are you when you may have two or three years of work until you get to where you want to be? But see, they don't tell you that, though. They don't want to tell you that. They don't want to let you know that. That's why I'm trying to put you guys on game. Patience. Allow them in. But once you allow them in, you have to be fully humble. You have to be a complete student because it's war. This is war. But guess what? God won't put you in a war that you cannot handle. God won't put you in a place, in a position, where you can't make it up out of, homie. And that's what they lie to you about. Everyone just tells you to quit. Everyone just tells you to give up. But we don't do that, though. We do not fucking quit. We do not fucking give up. We give it our all every single day. And that's all we can do. That is all we can motherfucking do. Guess what? People are going to try to hinder your success. They're, trying, they're gonna try to hold you back. They're gonna think they have some type of control over you, but they don't. They just don't know the work that you're putting in. They just don't see the hours and hours of effort that you've been putting in. But guess what? It's all gonna come back. It's all gonna pay off, trust me. This is the next thing I wrote down. If you trust in the Lord, love and kindness will surround you. When you operate how God operates, which is truly just the trust in God. Because if you trust in God, you're gonna to try to act like Jesus. You're gonna try your best to be more like him. You understand what I'm saying? And when we operate like him, there is love, there's opportunity, there is kindness, there is peace. Do you understand that? With yourself, there may be some suffering to teach you lessons, but the way you're gonna to act towards people, the way you're gonna be the light with people, you know that's what God says. You know that's what Jesus says. You're the light. You are the exact light. You're the light of this world. So rather you feel like you're worth it or you don't feel like you're worth it, you are. Rather you feel like you mean something or you don't mean something, you mean something. And that's not by choice. That's because God said you are. That's because God said you are. You're the light. So today, right now as you watch this video, Make something out of yourself. Believe in yourself. Know that there is a reason for whatever it is you're going through because once you make it through it, you're gonna help so many other people. That's why I made videos. That's why I continue to make videos because I know that once I make it through this situation, I can share it with people and they will have an answer. You guys don't understand the power of this shit. Do not give up. This is one of my last points, all right? You will never feel true joy if you live in sin. So break any bad habits that you have, even if it takes longer than you like, and even if 
it makes you feel weak at first. I sin. We both sin. Okay? I retaliate. I get angry. I get mad. I don't drink or do drugs. I don't go to parties. I don't do certain things, but I still fuck up. Sometimes I overeat. Sometimes I talk a certain way that I shouldn't. But guess what? Learn to break those habits. Learn to say no to the bullshit. Because you can't feel that you're winning in life. You can't feel that you mean something in life if you're only living in sin. You can't feel that true joy if you're only living in sin. You understand what I'm saying? Because if I sit here and I do the exact opposite of what God asked for me and then expect everything to prosper, I'm a fucking fool. Do you understand that? God expects more from you and he has the right to expect it. But you know, every time you go through something, you expect God to be there for you, show up for you, provide for you. So please understand that you have to show up, you have to be great, and you have to keep yourself accountable, which is what the world needs, okay? I'm telling you guys, do not give up. Do not quit. Because I wanted to quit so bad. I wanted to give up so bad the other day, but yet I'm still here making this YouTube video. And sometimes you don't even know why you wanna quit. You don't, bro, it's fucking weird, I know. You don't know why you wanna quit, but then you gotta go back and say, well, there's something I'm not doing. And that's why, when my relationship with God feels off, I'm not communicating with God, I'm not self-reflecting, my habits are off, then I feel off. Okay, if I'm not hitting my workouts, which I haven't missed a workout in over seven months, then I'm gonna feel off. Because it's, these are the things that I do to validate myself, because I'm not going to look for validation in other areas. I'm gonna report to God and that's all I can do. If God says do it, I'm gonna step out and do it. If God says no, then I'm not gonna do it. If God says, hey, you need to believe in yourself, and work harder in this area, then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend more time. If God says I need to quit making videos today, then that's what I'm gonna do. I have to listen and connect with God. That's all I can do. And I want you guys to do the same damn thing. It sucks to sit there and want something so bad but have no plan. And if you don't have a plan, I encourage you to go find God because he's gonna put you on the right path at the right time, giving you everything that you've ever wanted and needed. That's it. He's not gonna steer you the wrong way. I promise you that. I promise you that. Love yourself, take care of yourself, continue to grind because I'm telling you right now, everyone's waiting on you to quit. Everyone's waiting on you to fail, but we never miss. You know it's love. God is great. If you need help with one-on-one -on -one self-development coaching, mindset, training, and nutrition, and you get to work with me one-on-one, one-on-one, -on -one. -on -one. and I told you there's limited spots left, right? I want you to either click the link on this video. It'll be a Calendly link, okay? You will get on there. You will have to invest in yourself. We'll talk and I'll break down exactly how I can help you. If not, you can go on Instagram at humblebeastyt on Instagram. And I'm telling you guys, DM the word beast. We'll hop on a phone call. Let's fucking go, man. We never miss. You know we don't miss.